Hello people and thank God finally it's weekend. Finally the weekend is here. The time for rest is here. We thank God for giving us yet another chance to see this evening and to see this time. There are so many people out there who wished to have some time like we have had but they have not had a chance to see the evening. So we want to thank God so much because of his love, his kindness and his, his goodness. There is none other who can love us like God does. God has given us a rest again over this weekend. He is giving us another chance to have some time to rest from all our daily activities, all our daily cures, and all our daily uh, things that we do every other day of the week. And so today, guys, I want to come to you again. My name is Miliki Hill Beautiful Life, and I want to welcome you again to our uh, YouTube channel and to watch our video again and not just by watching but nimewaletea kikombe chetu cha kila jioni as we uh, as we as I promised I said that I'll be bringing you a glass of lemonade every other evening for seven good days we are on a journey and we said that this journey we are going to walk a journey of the prayer of Jabez and uh, to just just be brief on who Jabez is, if you go to the book of First Chronicles chapter four verse ten, you'll find the story of Jabez, who was a, a a man who was born in pain. He was born in tribulations. He was born in discomfort. He was born in a life that he did not love. He was born in a life that he never ad was never admired by anybody because it was a life of pain. But in this uh, in this life that he was born in he was able to remember that there is one who can change his situation there is one who can change his life there is one who can change his name in fact his name was named after his situation he was named after the situation he was in and the name was pain and so he asked god to change his name and this evening we're going through the prayer of jabez part one and part one says that the go a good morning will surely come a good time will surely come god will change this situation that you are in god will change these things that you are seeing around you god will break this mountain that you can see ahead of you god will make a way in this desert that you are in walk with this prayer of jabez and you will find yourself experiencing so many of God's blessings because God promises and he fulfills. Ask God to bless you indeed. Ask him to give you his blessings because he is out ready to give you the blessings that he has promised. There are blessings that you have asked for and he is ready to give you the blessings. Now, I want you to I want to invite you to pray with me the prayer of Jabez and as you do the prayer of Jabez remember that this prayer of Jabez have got different uh, it has several parts that we can take one by one and today we are asking God to bless us and bless us indeed we pray that he separates us and he saves us from every form of enemies of success because there are so many enemies around our success story there are so many enemies who comes when success starts germinating in our lives and these enemies do not just come in form of enemies because if we knew that they were our enemies then we could not welcome them in our lives but they come in form of support system they come in form of friends they come in form form of people who are concerned and who wants to support our hustle but when they come and land they uh, they 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 they, they, uh, they immediately turn or change to whom they were meant to be they are enemies of the success that God is planting in our lives. So we pray that God blesses us indeed. And after blessing us, we pray that he separates us and he saves us from all the enemies of our success. We ask him to walk with us through the success story. We ask him to walk us through the book of uh, the, the new book and the new chapter that he's going to give us. We ask God that once you have blessed me, sustain the blessings that you have 
for me. And for sure, God is going to do that because he's a God who fulfills his promises. And so this evening as we go to rest, this evening as we relax, this evening as we have our good time as I also do it, I ask and I want to encourage you to believe in that God and to put a prayer, just like I said yesterday, go into your inner room, tell God, I have come to you. I want you to bless me and please bless me indeed. And for sure he's going to do exactly that because he's a God who fulfills his promises. When Jabez went into, uh, uh, when Jabez knelt down and he prayed, he asked the God of Israel, not any other God. He asked the God of Israel, the God who had delivered the children of Israel from bondage in, uh, from the bondage in Egypt, and he had given them victory. That same God is the God that Jabez cried to, and he told him, "Please bless me and bless me indeed." And so this evening, God is promising to bless you and to bless you indeed go and ask him for the blessings that you want and he is going to fulfill the desires of your hearts and so this evening as we take that lemonade glass I want to invite you to go into prayer I want to invite you to relax as you meditate about God's blessings as you meditate about God's promises as you meditate about God's way of blessing his people as you meditate about the people of God who has been blessed in the past as you meditate about the people you have seen grow from nothing to something those people that have grown from grass to grace those people that you have seen grow from very low point to a very high point those people that were never to be remembered but today they have become the icons in the society they have become icons in their families they have become icons in life they have become icons that we are looking upon even in our places of work even in our businesses they have become the role models in our lives they have become people that we can emulate people that we can mention people that have a name that can be named so if you have such people in life that you have seen that you have ever experienced please go and start meditating about them and then the last thing that you do meditate about the blessings that god has given you in the past and for sure you will know that god is gonna bless you and bless you indeed because god is a god who fulfills our desires god is a god who can scatter all our weaknesses he can scatter all our problems he can scatter all all the issues that are around our lives and he changes our name by blessing us and blessing us indeed so guys i want to invite you to the rest of this weekend i want to invite you for today's rest and i want to encourage you that god is here today he is listening to you he can hear you and he wants to bless you is there anything that you want to talk to him is there anything that you want to bring to him is there anything that you want to offer to him this evening as you take that lemonade glass Please meditate about what you feel you want to give to God. Indeed, he is ready to bless you and bless you. In Job chapter 11 verse 18, God says, You will live secure and full of hope and he will protect you and he will give you rest. God will give you a rest in your heart. You know, when we Our are hearts hard, are not at rest. When we have some issues running around our minds, we are not at rest today there is a hymn that i i love singing i love singing this hymn every other time you know singing is a prayer like there is this song that always comforts me it tells me that i should not be dismayed whatever that falls my way because god will take care of me even in times of danger he will take care of me and this song brings me a lot of comfort. When I sing this song, I feel there is nothing to fear because God is going to be with me. He is going to bless me indeed, just like today's uh, glass says. Today's glass of lemonade says, 
God is going to bless you and bless you indeed. And we were asking that God blesses us indeed in this evening. And so this song gives me a lot of comfort. It makes me feel happy. It makes me feel comforted. It makes me feel complete because when God is in your life, Okay, people say, some people say that there is no God and they try to explain that there is no God. But I will always stand by the, by, by the word of God because God is real. If it was God, then I don't know where we would be. If it were not by God, then even the breath that we have, where would we get it from? Even by, by if, when we look around, everything we see is just by God's doing. It's just by God's might. So if you feel like you're giving up on God, then you're giving up on life. If you feel like you're giving up on God, then you're giving up on everything. Because God is everything. So this evening, I want to leave you to have some rest in your heart. To have some good time in your heart. To have some comfort in your heart, knowing that God is going to bless you and to bless you indeed and until we come and get another glass of ginger lemonade tomorrow evening i want you to i want to encourage you to walk with the prayer of jabez because god is gonna bless you and bless you indeed please do not forget to subscribe to this channel miliki hu beautiful life and don't forget to share with your friends when you feel blessed please share with your friends when you feel encouraged, please like. When you feel like there is that, that comment you want to drop, just drop it down there and God is going to bless you. May God be with you this evening. May God be with you this night. And for those who are, who are ailing and passing through hard times, like one of my friends who went to the hospital today and was diagnosed with some growth in their body, God is going to do you good. God is in control of everything. 